oxidation of aldehydes and ketones the first named reaction that we have is tishenko reaction in tishenko reaction the aldehydes react with aluminum ethoxide or sodium alkoxide and give an ester so this reaction is tishenko reaction let's look into the mechanism of the reaction now as you can see i have taken benzaldehyde now the carbon which is electron deficient gets attracted towards the oxygen of sodium alkoxide in step 1 and the pi cleavage take place resulting in the negative charge on the oxygen of aldehyde group so the step 1 product is the attachment of oxygen of sodium alkoxide to carbon through a sigma bond a pi cleavage takes place and sodium ion is released in the solution again the first step product comes into contact with another molecule of benzaldehyde and the negative group the negative charge of oxygen now gets attracted to electron deficient carbon and pi cleavage takes place resulting in the negative charge on another oxygen atom so this takes place now since the second oxygen atom is negatively charged it gets a prone site for the sodium ion which is floating actively in the solution so second step results in the formation of ketonic group and sodium ion gets attached to the oxide ion now these two combine together in the third step and form an adduct whereby the first oxygen atom which was earlier having a negative charge again attains a negative charge now for fourth step you can see a dotted line which shows the cleavage now this cleavage can take place on another site also next to the carbon there are two sites for cleavage which are similar in tendency whereby the cleavage can take place at any of the places so in a step 4 after this cleavage we get benzyl benzoate and benzyl oxide ion this benzyl oxide ion combines with the sodium ion which was released in a step 3 again make, uh, starting initiating the cycle till any of the reactants get over so this was tishenko reaction whereby aldehydes lead to the formation of esters in the presence of aluminum ethoxide or sodium alkoxide